25 years ago, Harley-Davidson Custom Vehicle Operations was born out of the desire to create the ultimate factory custom motorcycle. Over the years, the boundaries got pushed further and further. The best paint, the best performance, the best audio, and each bike really seemed to have outdone the one that came before it. Today, CBO truly represents the pinnacle of Harley-Davidson design, Harley-Davidson craftsmanship, innovation, and performance. In 2023, we really broke the mold. Uh, we introduced two entirely new models into the CVO portfolio with a completely reimagined Street Glide and Road Glide. Every surface of these bikes was just entirely new. Introducing signature LED lighting that's seamlessly integrated with the lines of the redesigned Batwing and Shark Nose fairings. And all the bodywork was redesigned using computational fluid dynamics for optimal aerodynamic performance and enhanced rider comfort. We introduced the 121 Milwaukee 8 DVT engine. These bikes were now equipped with the highest displacement motors ever to ship in a stock Harley-Davidson touring motorcycle. And both bikes included fully adjustable inverted forks in the front and adjustable shocks in the rear that increased travel to three inches, which really significantly improves rider comfort and enhances the handling of the bikes. The crown jewel was the introduction of this new 12.3 inch touchscreen color TFT display. It's the largest of any touring motorcycle on the market. It's powered by Skyline OS, and these displays bring to life a suite of connected infotainment features that really enhance the riding experience. So this year, for the 25th anniversary of CBO, we are revealing four new models. Street Glide and Road Glide CBO models. CBO Pan America. First time we brought Pan America into the family. The star of the show for a lot of folks is the CBO Road Glide ST, our ultimate performance bagger. This year, our CVO Road Glide and Street Glide models come in legendary orange and our Copperhead Hue Shift paint schemes. We went back and looked at the second year that we did CVO in 2000, we had the Road Glide. This year, 100% felt like we really had to have the orange and black scheme to celebrate this anniversary. We wanted it for Street to reminisce the, the breakup and the colorway of the black and orange that was on that original motorcycle, but we wanted to add some more metallic flake to that orange to really bring out the highlight and bring out the new surfaces that we have on the bodywork. And we decided to go with a silver parting line painted graphic that's actually hand brushed with two different silver paints. The color, the scheme, the breakup, especially of the legendary orange bike, directly ties back to that second year of CVO, the first bagger CVO. In addition to the legendary orange colorway, which is both available on the CVO Road Glide and Street Glide, there's a second colorway, which is Copperhead. And Copperhead is this beautiful color that's just got this incredible flop on it, meaning that the paint travels from one hue to another. It pairs super nice with the Scorch Chrome finishes to create this really handcrafted, curated palette of a motorcycle for the riders. The CVO Road Glide ST was really born from the racetrack. You can draw a direct line from these bikes to the Harley-Davidson factory race team bikes. It comes fitted with a new Milwaukee 8 121 high output engine. It's tuned for even more horsepower and more torque and equipped with a high performance camshaft, performance air intake, a 5,900 RPM redline. It even has a special ride mode for the track that was inspired by Kyle Wyman's personal settings. So the 2024 Road Glide ST comes in two colorways, Raven Metallic and Golden White and Pearl. The graphic scheme on it, the Drop H logo, as well as the Screaming Eagle iconography, really comes from the race bike. The red detailing that you see comes from a pivot that we're making with our ST line of motorcycles, which up to this point has been bronze as the accent color. You would probably argue that another color on the motorcycle is the beautiful forged carbon bits, but that's a real functional element. The front fender, the console, the muffler, end cap, and the seat cowl are all made from forged carbon fiber and a satin gloss. It's something that screams performance, any carbon fiber does, but this being laid in there organically, no two patterns or no two parts are gonna look exactly the same. I think 10, 15 years ago, somebody had said, in the future, there's going to be an early Davidson adventure bike. We might have been surprised by that. If that adventure bike was going to also become part of the CVO offering, I think a lot of people would have been surprised. 
That's just part of the excitement of the kind of newness. Every year brings something new. We noticed since we released Pan America that people are customizing Pan Americas. It's the only adventure bike that I've ever seen that gets fully customized the way they're getting customized, which is a testament to our customer and to our brand. And I think it really says a lot about the people that choose to ride our adventure bike. They are as passionate about the adventure and the functionality of the motorcycle as they are the customization, which you just don't see with any other adventure bike. With the CVO Pan America, we've taken our incredibly capable adventure touring motorcycle and enhanced it, doing some things that, that really only Harley Davidson can do with an adventure bike. It comes equipped with rugged aluminum top case and side cases with a Screaming Eagle quick shifter, a muffler guard, a skid plate, a radiator shield and auxiliary LED lighting. It's got the lowered adventure windshield and heated grips and a tool kit designed specifically for the Pan America really truly is the ultimate adventure bike from Harley-Davidson. We have this great anniversary paint scheme. There's a predominantly very strong dominant number one that course is the 1969-70 Mert Lawwell number one. Legendary orange is the color with Atlas silver, which is this beautiful wet slide detail that looks like almost like spun aluminum. And then it's all backed up with Raven metallic, which is like a dark black with a beautiful flake. Of course, the, the kind of the fourth and final paint job will be snow, rain, mud. The more dense and mud and scratches we put on the bikes, the, the better. You know, they kind of give you the bikes a great patina. That's adventure touring. We always want to nod back to some of our history and celebrate it, but we want to put like a modern spin on it. It's very fitting for the 25th anniversary to have such a stellar lineup like this from adventure touring, Grand American touring riding, all the way to something you can take on the track. Considering that every year we try to do multiple things with the CVO family that are mind blowing, to do that many things over 25 years, that's quite a feat and a testament to everybody at the company for the passion they have for CVO and the passion they have for making the best factory custom motorcycles in the world.